Gyms have been closed for what feels like eons now, leaving gym enthusiasts on their couches, eating way too much junk food, and watching all of Netflix. However, some gyms are reopening in America. This was made possible by decisions <laughs> that were made by the White House and by your local government. Still, many of us are wondering, is it safe to go back to the gym yet? What will gyms look like after they reopen? What kinds of precautions are gym owners taking to make their gyms safe? Welcome back to Total Body Training. I'm John Carlos, and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please click the subscription button. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. On this channel, we go over fitness tips, trends, and tutorials to help you get in shape. On with the video. As I talked about in a previous video called When Will Gyms Reopen in Texas? Gyms are opening up all across America and Texas. But not all gyms within those states have reopened yet. And not all states have reopened their gyms yet. So you might want to go back and watch that video and the video that I did before that called When Will Gyms Reopen? As I was saying, Gyms are reopening and gym owners and gym goers are super excited about this. Will us weightlifters be able to lift weights without masks on? Will people in yoga classes have to wear hazmat suits while they practice their chaturanga? Finally, and most importantly, will old men stop walking around the locker room completely butt naked? Hey, I'm talking about you, Larry. Don't you walk away from me, you sicko. No, but seriously, what are gyms going to do to reduce the spread of the virus in their facilities. Let's start with Texas. Texas gyms are reopening on May 18th, and Greg Abbott has made it mandatory for gyms to only open at a 25% capacity. Essentially, gyms are gonna look the way that they do right before the Christmas holidays, because nobody goes to the gym during the holiday season. Goals, what goals? Oh yeah, I forgot about those. I think I had one back in like February or something like that. I digress, but for more on this topic, I looked up what some of the top gym owners of commercial gyms are doing to help stop, slow down <laughs> the spread of the virus in their facilities. Jim Rowley is the CEO of Crunch Gym. They came up with a 37 page manual for sanitation and cleanliness practices. And I'm gonna quote Jim here from an article. He said, every location will have prominent signs that explain what customers can expect and will encourage mindfulness. There will be yellow arrows on the floor to tell people where they should stand so that they can maintain distance amongst each other. Other gyms will be doing really similar things. Harvey Spivak, CEO of Equinox Gyms, has this to say. They had already upped their cleaning practices before closing, but researching and implementing additional safety measures. Other gyms have gone extremely public with expressing just how detailed they plan on being. Gold's Gym CEO, Adam Zaitsev, Someone let me know down in the comments if I'm pronouncing that right. Zitsif, uh, Zaitsev, uh, I don't know. Adam has outlined their corporate gold's phases for how they plan on keeping their facilities up to date. Adam has outlined a three phase plan for how they plan on opening up corporate owned gold's gyms. This does not include franchise owned gold's gyms. Phase one states that their gyms will reopen at limited capacity and gym equipment would be alternated in between usage. Phase two has group fitness classes starting back up, but at a limited capacity. Kids clubs would reopen as well. Phase three has the gym going back to normal. But you know, as Adam goes on to state in that article, what will normal be and when will that really happen? What will that look like? It does seem that most of the commercial big box gyms have taken a really similar approach to reopening their studios. However, not all gyms are planning to reopen right away. Take for example, Harvey Spivak, the CEO of Equinox Gyms. He decided not to open up in Georgia just quite yet, even though Brian Kemp, the governor of Georgia, allowed for gyms to reopen almost immediately after the White House allowed for gyms to reopen. So after the White House rolled out with their plans for reopening America again and other gym owners have also decided not to open up in Georgia yet. For example, LA Fitness had planned on opening up on May 1st, but then they went back on it. They changed their minds. They sent out an email that said the following. 
So although we had originally set a target date of May 1st for our first market reopening, specifically Georgia, we decided to hold off for now while we seek a greater consensus between the federal, state, and local authorities on the proper path forward. I think one of the things that's made this complicated is that there isn't a consensus. There isn't one set path. There isn't one set plan. The federal government is operating differently than the state governments. The state governments and even like the governors and the mayors in certain states aren't always agreeing. That seemed to happen in my state here in Texas. You know, Greg, we had Greg Abbott who recently said we could reopen places, but then we have our local mayor here, Ron Nuremberg, who seemed to support that, but not completely support it. So it's been a little bit confusing for people. All in all, I think that there has been confusion on all sides of this, and we could have just made things easier had we said that everybody should be closed and everybody should reopen at a certain time. I'm no poly science major. <laughs> I'm also not an, uh, you know, a pandemiologist, but even the scientific community has been opposed to reopening right now. So I, I think that it is a little bit confusing for people to know what is the right way to handle this. It's been confusing for these top CEOs because they don't really want to be closed. I mean, for example, Gold's Gym had to close down 30 of its locations. Like no one wants to do that. Harvey Spivak had to lay off, I think like 30% of his people at his gym. And lots of these uh, gyms have had to close or let their people leave or, you know, uh, furlough their workers there. It's not something that businesses want to do. So when a business takes a stand and says, I don't think that the scientific evidence is there supporting us reopening, then there must really be a very good reason for them not to reopen. I have to say, it's really cool seeing these huge gym owners and CEOs decide not to reopen because, you know, obviously gyms and as a business, owning a gym is a business and it runs off of money and obviously you want to make money for you know your own benefit and for them to kind of set that to the side and say hey i don't think it's in the best interest of the public for me to be reopened yet says a lot about the character of those people and their company something else that isn't quite clear yet is whether or not it's going to be mandatory for us to wear masks when we go to the gym in all truth it wasn't ever mandatory at least in the state of texas to wear masks. It was never something that was enforced. In fact, Greg Abbott said no jurisdiction can impose any penalty or fine for people not wearing their masks. However, I did read an article from KSAT, which is entitled, which doors require face masks to be worn in San Antonio. The article goes on to state that even though it's not a law, private companies can mandate. For example, HEB and Costco make it mandatory for both their employees and for their customers to wear masks when they visit their grocery stores. And if they don't, they'll be kicked out. Sam's on the other hand only requires employees to wear masks, but not the customers who come in to their grocery stores. And I really like Whole Foods approach to this. They're actually giving their customers free disposable masks to wear when they come into a Whole Foods, which is the least they can do for selling me $10 organically grown bananas. It's nice to see that I'm finally getting my money's worth at Whole Foods. So what does this mean for gyms? Well, no gym has officially said whether or not they're going to enforce a mask rule at their facility. However, you know, I think that the scientific evidence is conclusive that wearing a mask really prevents you from spreading or receiving the virus. So even if gyms don't make people wear masks, you might consider wearing it anyways. If not for your safety, but for the safety of other people. And what am I gonna do, finally? I do own a gym, it's a training studio. What, what is Total Body Training gonna do? Well, we're going to follow all of the same procedures that other gyms are offering. We're going to up our cleaning standards. We're also going to have clear set stations and areas where people can work out so that they have social distancing from each other. We're going to do all of that and we're also going to limit the kinds of exercises that we do. So we are a strength and hit class, but, or strength and hit studio, we're going to limit the hit workouts that we do and focus primarily on strength for a while. We're thinking that if we do that, there's less chances of people doing burpees and flinging sweat onto their neighbors when they're working out. I think this is 
the least that I can do to help, you know, limit the spread of that virus and hopefully not spread it at all within my training facility. And for those of you who don't feel comfortable going back to gyms yet, I completely understand. I myself think I fall into that category. I don't know how to feel about it yet entirely. If you don't feel safe going back, you can work out with us online. We have two levels of service now where we have body weight hit classes that we do three days a week. Uh, and then we also have our weightlifting from home series. These are all live workout classes. And if you stick around after this video, you can watch a commercial that talks about some of those classes or simply click the link down in the description section of this video to learn more. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button. It's the little bell that lets you know when my videos are coming out so you never miss out on a video. Until next time, peace. Working out from home can be boring. Whether it's the fact that you don't have proper weightlifting equipment or you're sick and tired of using pre-recorded workout videos that lack motivation and proper instruction that is geared towards you. If you find yourself in one of those categories, look no further than Total Body Training. We've got you covered with our online weightlifting from home program. That's right, we teach you in a virtual classroom how to work out and lift weights for you at your current level and where you want to be at in the next 6, 12 weeks. Where do you want to be at by the end of this year? We've got you covered with our online weightlifting program. So if you're interested, read the description section of this video to learn more about how you can start lifting weights from home with us today.